here's how we can disable AI features on Google Pixel 10. We're going to start with the biggest one, I think, the Gemini or Google Assistant. So in this case, if you want to get rid of it, we have to open the settings. Now choose your Google profile. We're going to switch to all services. And then we need to scroll down in order to find search assistant and voice. Now over here, choose Google Assistant. Even if you use the Gemini, you want to choose this one. Now, in this case, if you actually use Gemini, you want to go to Digital Assistants from Google and we want to switch from Gemini to Google Assistant. This is quite important. And then once you do that, we're going to go back and let's proceed to General Settings. And in this case, we can completely disable Google Assistant. And there we go. Now, if I try to open Gemini or Google Assistant, as you can see, we have this prompt, but we can, of course, get rid of that as well. We just have to go back to Settings. Let's go to the main menu of Settings. And this time we need to scroll down to system and then open the gestures. And over here we have press and hold power button. We can switch to switch to power menu. And if you press and hold the power button now instead of the Gemini or Google Assistant, you just have power menu. And now you actually got rid of the Gemini on your phone. Well, you still have the app, of course, that you can probably open at any time. Um, but if you want to avoid it, then of course, feel free to do so. I don't think we can actually disable it, but we can check that if that's really the case. So we're going to go to apps and up here you should be able to see the full list. And let's go to Gemini. Let's see if we can disable it. Yes, we actually can disable it. So if you want to, you can disable it quite easily. All right. Now, besides that, there was one more option in messages. So over here, as you can see, we have this button over here, which is also used for uh, Gemini, I believe, or some sort of Google AI. We can tap on our Google profile in the upper right corner, go to messages settings. If you have two SIM cards, uh, sorry, not SIM cards, if you have two SIMs, uh, then you can go to general over here. Yeah, otherwise you just see these settings. And over here we have Gemini in messages and we can disable the Gemini button. We can also go to the Gmail app and over here we can open this menu over here on the left side and then we can proceed to settings. Now in settings we can open, we can choose our Gmail and if you scroll down you should be able to find smart features which we can easily disable. We can also go to Google Workspace smart features and we can disable these options as well. Of course we also have circle to search which can also be easily deactivated. We just have to open settings. Now we're going to go to display and touch. Then over here, open navigation mode and we can disable circle to search in this place. Now we're going to go to the phone app, tap on these three lines in the upper left corner and go to settings. You should be able to find voice translate, which is also an AI feature, which we can easily disable. You may also find some additional options like, for example, call screen, etc. So you might want to check them out as well. They are available in some regions, so you can turn them off here as well. We also have AI features in the camera app. We can tap on this setting icon in order to go to camera settings. And you can, for example, disable framing hands. We can turn that option off. We can also disable guided frame, camera coach, and probably some more like this auto best take as well. Let's see if there is anything else. I think these are all stuff. There's also camera scan suggestions, which is used to scan documents and QR codes, um, but they can be quite useful. So I'm not sure if you actually want to turn it off. If you want to, of course, feel free to do so. And that is essentially it. These are all major things that we can disable, um, major AI tools that we can disable on Google Pixel 10. Some of them are actually app dependent. So if you open certain apps, then you can still access them. Uh, so you can just try to avoid using these features. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.